Robert Rosenbaum. Thank you, hello. Uh, when I look out my bedroom window in the morning, I see the hospital that I was born in. Obviously, I haven't gotten very far. <laughs> but I do have three million frequent flyer miles from my adventures as an international advertising executive. They paid me to present creative concepts around the world. Good gig. The best part of it was overeating at 3,000 restaurants on six continents. I kept me busy during the day. At night, I performed stand-up comedy at every club in this, uh, in this city, and then went on to earn a professional culinary degree with 600 hours of training. Now I combine all of those passions and pursuits to uh, write and host programs about food uh, and cooking. Why? Because I have had a love affair with food since I was breastfed. <laughs> Look, it was uh, natural and organic and uh, locally sourced. I was ahead of my time. I uh, uh, will tell you that there are two things I recall from my own bris. One is that it hurt like hell. The other is that they served whitefish salad. <laughs> to this day, it pains me to eat whitefish salad. <laughs> Some guys have vivid memories of their first uh, sexual experience. Me, I'll never forget my first piece of pizza, which was not unlike my first sexual experience, very hot and over too soon. <laughs> Now, uh, here's a little secret uh, between us uh, girls. I wrote a book called Short Order Dad, and yet the primary beneficiaries of that book are women and children. And I say that because we're at a point right now where 70% of mothers in this country are in the workforce, busy working, and it seems to me we're spending an awful lot less time sharing dinner together at the family table. That's being replaced by eating takeout on the couch in front of a television, for some reason, watching cooking shows. <laughs> so, I am, uh, I'm on a mission to redefine fatherhood through food. And that means getting more guys to cook more meals more often. And I, in short order, Dad, showed them how.